Travicom, a telecommunication business, is run by a neurotic hot-headed tyrant, Travis, Joe Don Baker. In order to obtain a strong 10,000-channel laser, he sends his son Charlie into Africa's Congo region to retrieve a raw flawless diamond to fuel the laser. While reporting via Satlink, the camp is littered with dead bodies. The final image seen from Charlie's video before it goes black, is of a mutant gorilla. Travis sends Dr. Karen Ross, Laura Linney, Charles's ex-fiancé and a former CIA operative, to head another expedition to the site. Travis' interest for the diamond and not for his son becomes clear, Dr. Ross then guarantees Travis that he will pay if she is only going there for the diamond and not Charles. Meanwhile, Peter Elliott, Dylan Walsh, a primatologist at the University of California, Berkeley, and his assistant Richard, Grant Heslov, use a mountain gorilla named Amy to teach human communication to primates. Her sign language is translated to a computerized voice using a specialized backpack and glove. Despite Amy's accomplishment, Peter is worried about her drawings of jungles, the eye of providence, and her mental degeneration, which supposedly occurs in imprisoned gorillas and wants to return her to the Congo but cannot afford the trip, so he seeks money to do so, but the university is hesitant. Mr. Hamalka, Tim Curry, a Romanian philanthropist, offers to pay since the drawings Amy painted have a symbol that he is interested in, and Karen requests permission to join because her visas will be invalid unless she is connected to such a venture. Peter is hesitant at first, because he sees that Amy is jealous of Karen and calls her ugly, but Peter allows her to join and she pays a portion of the costs after Mr. Hamalka is unable to provide funding. Amy is drinking alcohol on the flight to Africa, wants green drop drink martini. When the squad arrives in Africa Uganda, they are met by Eddie Ventro, Joe Pantoliano, and wilderness guide Monroe Kelly, Ernie Hudson, with enough technology and weapons to launch an incursion into a foreign territory. They are spotted by local soldiers while attempting to escape the airport and are detained and questioned by Captain Wanta, Delroy Lindo, a local military leader, who warns them not to trust Hamalka and demands a bribe in order for them to exit. Karen pays him a large bribe, and he allows them to continue. The group crosses to Tanzania to join another plane that will take them to Zaire. Monroe says that Hamalka has conducted unsuccessful safaris in search of the lost city of Zinj in the past. As their plane enters Zaire airspace, it gets fired upon, hit, and damaged by the Zairean army. The group parachutes into the jungle just before their plane explodes. On the ground, when reporting a sit rep to Travis, Travis informs Karen that his primatologists have recognized the gorilla observed in front of Charlie's camera as a new species of gray gorilla. Amy while moving around, knocks over the sat link, destroying it, leading Travis to believe that another gorilla attack has occurred and dispatches another plane to find the diamond. While camping, the group meets the ghost tribe, who claim there is a dead white man in the forest with the Travicom emblem on his shirt. The ghost tribe has different levels of dead, and Karen recognizes Bob Driscoll, John Hawks, a member of Charlie's party. Bob awakens to find Amy crawling towards him, he starts screaming in fear and soon dies. The group continues by boat, and they find that Hamalka, who is looking for Zinj and its mythical diamond mine, believes Amy's paintings indicate she has seen the mine and can lead them to it. As they travel further into the Congo they are attacked by massive hippos as well as snakes. The team witnesses Travis' second plane being shot down. Afterwards, the group is camped out one evening when the porters disappear, leaving them at a fork in the trail and unclear of what to do. Since Amy has the conviction and passion to return home, it is decided to follow her. They are in a geothermally unstable area of the Congo. When Peter encounters a silverback gorilla, he is terrified. Monroe advises him not to run away. The gorilla charges at him, then walks away. When Peter turns to look, he notices that everyone has left him and is hiding, even Monroe, who had earlier warned him not to move an inch. When Amy encounters a troop of silverback gorillas, she is ignored, which makes Karen think Amy doesn't belong anyplace. The team discovers Charlie's camp's perimeter, but cannot locate the bodies or equipment. 
The group finds the lost city of Zinj with King Solomon's mines. The group moves in but Richard and a few of them remain behind. In the mines, the group sees hieroglyphics which state that, we are watching you, over and over again. Amy wonders often Richard sets out to look for her and is attacked. He runs to his friends in the mines beaten and bloodied followed by a mutant gorilla, who throws a severed head of one of their members at them, and charges at them. They start shooting at it, killing it. The death of Richard and other victims, leads Hamalka to state that the legend of the killer ape is true. They set up a camp like that of a predator movie scene, with lasers and machine pistols. The gorillas attack, and they fight to keep them at bay with the automated sentry guns and detectors. If not for the overwhelming firepower, the group would have been killed. When day breaks, they discover Hamalka, several porters and Amy missing. They return to the city, where they find Hamalka exploring, and they surmise from hieroglyphs that the city's inhabitants specially bred the grey gorillas, encouraging their violent inclinations to defend the mine and murder anyone who tries to steal the diamonds. The group assumes the gorillas turned on their masters but continue to guard the mine. They find the mine and are confronted by a troop of grey gorillas. As Hamalka starts collecting diamonds, some of the apes quickly surround him and kill him. There is no way out, so Monroe, Karen, and Peter retreat further into the mine. The gorillas are repelled by Peter and Monroe as Karen searches for a way out. Peter is soon taken by the gorillas, and just as they are about to kill him, Amy shows up and saves him. Charlie's body is discovered by Karen with the diamond and laser in his palm. She inserts the diamond into a portable laser, enabling her to activate it and slay a number of gorillas, giving the team chance to flee. The four escape as the volcano starts to erupt and the city fills with lava, killing the gorillas. Once safe, Amy joins the silverback gorillas and Karen reports to Travis on finding the diamond and confirming Charles's death. Realizing Travis was solely interested in the diamond, she uses her laser to destroy the Travicom satellite, Travis' source of income. They find a hot air balloon in the nearby wreckage of another Travis's expedition cargo planes that they had discovered earlier, and prepare to leave. Peter sees Amy with a troop of gorillas and bids her farewell. The three take off on the balloon, and Ross requests that Peter toss the diamond she found in the mines. He does this to Monroe's ouch, and the wind whisks them away. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.